Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be making an AI automation agency from scratch. We're gonna be starting with the website. We're gonna be using framer.com. Um, we're gonna be using framer.com because you can make a website with just the AI prompt. So we're gonna be click insert, we're gonna click AI, um, and then we're just gonna type agency website, and now it's gonna do the magic and create the website for us. And then we're just gonna edit the images or the text or whatever so it fits our script. This is gonna be a $0 build to make this AI agency. So I'm gonna do it with you guys, along you guys. It's gonna be a new, new video every single day on continuous updates. So to begin, we're gonna make the website and the Twitter. Tomorrow, maybe some content and maybe um, potentially some lead generation tr options, trying to figure out how to acquire leads. So before we get into that, let's just make the website. So I generated this template with AI and now I'm choosing the text. I'm gonna make the name of this company automate with GPT. Um, I'm just gonna make up some copy right here. Um, let's say step in, step into the future. And then we're just gonna have to have a little bit of a call up. We have to, who we should, who are we targeting? What are we doing? So I'm just gonna try to think of something here on the fly. And as we go, I might change this later on, but this is what I'll stick to for now for this video. So are you tired of dealing with employee no are you tired of delegating to keep it more socially convenient are you tired of delegating repetitive labor intensive tasks um on your expensive employees question mark well we were so we decided to do something about it and now we we would also like to help others that are that are in our old shoes i think is adequate um Again, this can be made much better, but I'm just gonna keep it sweet, simple, and short because I don't. Mainly, I'm gonna do get it be getting leads from content generation and actually talking to them one on one. That's the goal, and everything that I'm any leads that I do get, any clients that I do book is all gonna be done live. Secondly, I wanna create a persona for this, which is gonna be called Patrick Shao. That's his founder of this company. I'm just showing you guys. You guys don't even need a legitimate whole face and name to it. Um, if I do book calls, I'll say I'm the assistant or whatever talking inter instead of Patrick and Patrick is busy now. I'm um, just so we may look more professionally, professional, um, even though we're not even going to get a domain for this challenge because I don't think we need one. It's not that important. Even the website is barely that important, but it's good to have set up, especially if you want people to go and learn a little bit more. And then if they're interested, they can book a call. Um, so I'm going to add some use cases here. So we're just going to change the template. I'm just going to add some stuff like real estate, law offices, um, any niches. So data entry, customer service, um, just so they have an idea of what can be done. Um, I'll add another one, repetitive tasks, and then we'll add content generation. And then we have to add a descriptor for all of these use cases. So let's um, think of one on the fly. So here I'll write for real estate, automate your real estate lead generation with our AI solutions. Law offices, we can say create contracts and decipher documents using our GPT power tools. Data entry, we can say something like automate uh, and analyze your data with our AI technology. Customer service, save employee time and allow our AI to say, take care of customer service for you. Um, repetitive tasks, um, have a lot of repetitive tasks, um, help cut that back, automate your tasks today um, with us. Content generation, generate content using the latest AI technology and trends and use with us today. Um, and then we can proceed and yeah, that should be kind of for this part, I can spray something cringy, like automate so smooth, it's like magic. And then here we just want to uh, like tell them we contact us to learn more. Um, okay, cool. Now we can get the calendar link that I just made. Just make a new account. It's free, um, free version. I'm just gonna make the buttons link to the calendar link. I'm gonna add the copyright in the bottom. Change that from a template to so it says automate GPT um, 2023. Leave the social links how it is. Until we add them, we can add them after. And then we're gonna add a book a call button on the top right. We're gonna change the template and we're gonna paste the calendar link and then we're gonna change the services. We're gonna keep that and we're just gonna link it to the case studies, which we'll do by going to the use case section, um, going to scroll section and writing section here, I mean services, and then linking to um, number assigned services and that will directly go on the landing page and scroll to services. And then we should be good to go. So we'll just add another embedded Calendly link so they can book a call through without going to the other tab um, with an embedded Calendly. So we just paste the HTML and then we can edit the width and the height so it fits more properly. So I think I'll try 700 and build this up. And even though the height is not good enough, so we'll increase the height too, put it at 900 and we should be good. Um, let's just check that out and make sure it looks proper. Let's check mobile. 
Um, yeah, looks good. So we should be good. So now we can publish it. So you make it the low domain you want. Automate GPT framework AI. And then we have our website is live. Okay, so now we can proceed and go on Twitter. We're going to be making a Twitter account for this company so we can post AI content and hopefully generate some leads off there. It'll be one of our lead generating um, um, avenues. So I have a Twitter account that I don't use. So I'm just going to use that instead of making a new one because this Twitter has too many um, verification needs nowadays. Like, So I'm just going to change this one. It has been any followers and they're all dead. So we're just going to create, make it automate GPT. I'm going to generate a logo with mid journey. So I'm going to do imagine prompt automate GPT, minimalistic logo, no background, automation agency AI. And then it will generate. And as it's generating, I was trying to set up here um, on LinkedIn, but I'm not getting the the code to log in because I also want to do LinkedIn content because I think that's a very good avenue to get leads, um, which we could do later once I figure out why they're not sending me the verification email. And now we got the logo generated. I like, like the second one, I think the most. So we'll just use that. It matches the color scheme of blue anyways. So let's get that and we'll just remove the background. So we'll save it and then we'll go to, um, first let me apply it to Twitter. I'm gonna put in a Twitter thing, but first to remove it, we're gonna save it. Um, and before we do that, I'm going to copy the link and then generate a banner so we can use it for Twitter. So I'm going to copy that link and then do dash dash um, AR3 colon one, which will make a background. Then for removal in the background, we're going to search removal.ai and then go and upload the, the image. And then the AI will move it for us. And as you can see, since it's a complicated image because of the effects, it didn't remove everything. So I'm going to go to flotipia.com, which is a free Photoshop, but it's a web editor. I'm just going to try to clean it up a little bit manually. Um, and yeah, so it's not gonna be perfect, but it's okay. It's not that important right now. What matters most is getting actual clients and showing them that we can deliver on what they want. Um, and we just need something that shows them that we're serious and having a logo on website helps in that scenario. Um, okay, and it's also good once we get some social proof that we can add that to our website and it can snowball from there. Okay, so we're gonna download this PNG and then we're going to go to vectorizer to make it more sharp so we're just going to upload it at the one without a background now and then we're just going to make it vectorizer it's going to be a more improved version we're just going to download it and then we're good to go so now we have the banners we can save it we'll use the first one and now we should be good so now i'm just going to use this banner and this logo for our twitter okay now we can just make sure i'm going to put founded by patrick Zhao, but to do that i'm going to have to delete some of the words here because it's too much words i'm gonna put patrick patrick Zhao because i'm just gonna make it seem like patrick Zhao was such a big guy when i just made him up with ai um and then we're gonna change this to automate with gbt it's not taken we'll try automate gbt which is also not taken so that's probably better and then we'll just do this capture real quick and elon musk has taken our data with his captures somehow there's still so much bots on the platform but that's for another topic for another day okay so now we're good to go um, now we can proceed with the next step tomorrow, which will probably be setting up um, LinkedIn and working on some AI content and trying to get some leads. Okay. So All right. So see you guys tomorrow. Um, I hope you guys learn. If you guys want to follow the journey, you can follow along and we'll do it.